a couple of crazy things, boys. This is from Colin Knorr. I think is how you pronounce this. I'm not sure. Canada is banning and confiscating the pew pews and sending them to the Ukraine. <laughs> Yo. I was like, is this a joke? Oh, shit. Boy, I bet you Justin Trudeau is kicking them doors down personally. Just like his father, Fidel Castro, would. All right, so I want to take a peek at this one. Let's see, dude. This sounds bad. Dude, Canada, Canadians are just getting right, folks, obliterated. It's time for our absolute Why am I getting idiot? ads? Wait a minute. All right, I turn this on. <laughs> I like how this is like a this is like a scam. This dude's not even talking. Listen. Best deal of the year on Daily Wire Plus. That is 55. Why did it look like it was an AI voice? I'm Omar, getting scammed already. Effective immediately. 324 unique makes and variants of what the government calls assault style firearms are now prohibited. Assault style. It's just making shit up. All newly banned models have semi-automatic action and sustained... That's assault style? Just a standard pump? You're crazy. Rapid fire capability. Rapid fire capability! Dude, we got a 12-gauge pump action. Rapid fire capability. It's like a 1,000 clipazines per second, right? Government officials confirmed Thursday these guns can no longer be legally used or sold in this country. Our goal is to ensure that no community, no family is devastated by mass shootings in Canada again. These five Yeah, but you'll mass feed us, delete us, you, and spawn camp your own uh, younglings. And then, and then you'll put people in pods to eh themselves, right? But tell me how much you care about the lives of people. Firearms join the list of more than 1,500 types of firearms prime hey, minister it's Justin Trudeau son. banned the sale and use of in 2020. As was the case four years ago, the government is offering owners and retailers of these newly outlawed guns amnesty until October 2025. How generous. While officials finalize a national buyback program. Dude. You know what they should do? Is they should just... Put these on sale and just start handing them out. And just, and just be like, hey, you're for, you're, you're, you're for freedom? Hey, I'll give you a discount. Uh, today for you, 80% off. Take it to your family. Learn, uh, learn how to use it. But you know what's sad? Uh, a lot of times these people, they use stuff like this and they're like, you know, I'm, I'm never going to give up mine. Hey. Here, let's just pretend that that's what this is. I ain't ever gonna give up my I'm a freedom fighter. Yeah, until it comes time for uh, action. And then what are you gonna call yourself? I'm a law abiding a citizen. Really? Really? You know, I, I find that funny too, as well, when you have a lot of these people. I'm a law abiding citizen. Which, I, know, I know this is Canada, okay? I'm, I'm also talking to the people that happen to be in a couple of states as well. Was uh, George Washington considered a law-abiding citizen? Hmm. That's kind of, I'm kind of curious. Uh, Thomas Jefferson, were any of these forefathers considered law-abiding citizens? Can you imagine calling yourself a law-abiding citizen? I, I'm just a hunky-dory goodbye. And sh 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 I follow the law regardless, but I have this just in case I need it for my freedom. Yeah, you keep obeying that law, boy. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, you know what I say, though? You follow that law as you should, okay? Be a good boy. Same thing with all these other people that talk about, like, my freedom, you're taking away my boomstick. Yeah. Yeah, they're taking it away. What are you, you going to do? What are you going to do? Law-abiding citizen. You're going to do exactly what I recommend, which is you follow the rules, you get in line, you sit down, and you lick the boot, Okay. Program. I the advocate Liberals have been else. facing pressure to ban additional firearms that came on the market after 2020 and that weren't covered in the Liberals' major gun control bill passed a year ago. It remains to be seen exactly how many firearms will be turned over in time. But All once they are, the government says they have a plan to get them out of the country and out. potentially onto the front lines of the Russia-Ukraine war. We've been working very... That'd be kind of funny, like, listening to uh, Canadian news all day. Like, we're going to get these guns out of the country. 
We are a boat to get out of here. Closely with our friends in Ukraine to ensure that <laughs> weapons that were intended to be used in combat could be made available to them. Do you know? Dude, this is so stupid. Weapons that were designed to be made in combat. Hey, you're just going to start stripping your people of their boomsticks and sending it off to the Ukraine. My gosh, dude, this is so cringy. It's so dumb. The the cringe is off the charts. It's like, why can't why can't you guys just tell the truth? Just be like, look, we don't we want you completely unarmed. You're all you're already like I I don't know what the you're already like some domicile zombie freak at this point. Oh, what's going on? I think I just need to jump inside the pod and just uh, myself. Canadian healthcare, right? <laughs> hey, hey, if the boomstick don't get you, the healthcare will, right? Or better yet, what? can you imagine one of these uh, mass pew-pew events? You know, the ones that they keep talking about? Like, oh, please somebody think of the children. Dude. Can you imagine being in, in a mass pew pew event and then you're like, yeah, I got severe injuries. And then they start recommending you like one of those health pods. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what? Uh, what have you ever considered made? You know, it's like, damn, dude. Yeah, made in China. You break real quick in that pod, right? How diabolical it is to confiscate your own people's guns and then turn around and give them to another country. Like, let me get this straight. Canada. You're stripping your citizens of their ability to protect themselves only to hand those very same guns to a country in the middle of a war. The level of insult here is staggering. If this isn't proof that parts of the Canadian government hate their own people, I don't know what is. You're not even hiding it anymore. You're literally- Name a government right now that loves its people. No, chat, chat. You name a government right now that loves and respects its people. Name one. There you go. I, I, I think that like basically the, the closest that you're going to get would be like it loves taking care of the cow before it slaughters it. You know what I'm saying? It's like a farmer that takes care of its animal before it's time to. Eh. That's the most love you're going to get from a government. This idea that the government gives a shit about you is absurd to me. Every government's purpose is to swell in power. It's like seriously, dude, that's all these governments do. Because the people that get in charge of it, the people that seek power, love it and shouldn't have it. It's the people that don't want power is the ones that should have it because they're going to wield it responsibly. But you're going to get a lot, like pretty much governments across the board, it's a human problem, okay? You're going to have like sociopaths that desire power, desire leverage over people, and they seek these offices. These are the ones that go out there and will smooth talk and tell you anything that you want to hear just to get your little cha-ching, you know what I'm saying? Your little check mark on the on the ballot. Once they get that, it, you know, you fast forward 50, 60, 100 years, dude, you're living in an entirely different world at that point. It's why it's it's the same across like all governments. It's because sociopaths seek power. That's why, you, and I understand that you kind of have like an ebb and flow. What was that one quote? Uh, the tree of liberty must be watered with the, uh, the plasma <laughs> of patriots. I'm just going to put it that way because, you know, YouTube's being stupid. But it's kind of true. You got that cycle of up and down, man. And you see, in the 21st century overall, people are lazier and uncaring as it's ever been. You go, you go look back like 200 years ago, man, people were rough. Going out there, hunting for your own food and shit. You know, maybe you would go into town once in a great while. But it was pretty much people were very independent like 200 years ago. You fast forward today. Dude, everybody's like, look, I don't care. Just leave me alone. I just, I want to have my phone. I want my computer and my internet. You know, I, it, it, that's what it's all about. That's why I'm looking at this going like, of course, they're going to get away with it. Now, I know I can lose like 10,000 subscribers saying this, but I'm going to say it anyways because I'm an asshole. I think if this happened here in the States, it would be the exact same thing with, with how the Canadians are responding is the exact same way that it would respond here. You would do nothing. You would do nothing. I'm not advocating for you to do anything, okay? I'm not, I, I, I advocate for 100% peace, 100% of the time, all in Minecraft, okay? Uh, we're talking about in-game here. You would do absolutely nothing. We seen during a Hurricane Katrina that they went out there and they were confiscating these things from people. And you know what those people did? 
Zero. Zero. They did nothing. They took them things from you. They walked up to you and said, hey, hey, boy, what you got, what you got down there? Uh, it's just my, uh, it's just my freedom-loving boomstick. <laughs> well, boy, you better hand that over right now. Uh, 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 for the people, here you go, you can take my boomstick. That's exactly what happened, and that's exactly what would continue to happen. Because people are not united, they're divided, and they got a lot of uh, lazies to stick them around, so to speak. I know I'm being an asshole here, but I got to be realistic here. Uh, dude, I, I, I think, I think uh, Justin Trudeau could cross over the border, walk up to one of these, like, my freedoms, you know, kick that dude right in the chest slap his daughter right in the face and take all of his boomsticks and, I'm a patriot that's exactly what I expect to have they ain't doing nothing ain't doing nothing Golden Reaper five bucks got a video for you I thought we banned Golden Reaper uh, SSM tried tired of feminist society 20 he crazy I'll take a peek maybe later on thank you dude I greatly appreciate it alright let's continue I've been, I've been jibber jabbering too much He's saying we don't trust you to have guns but hey let's send them to Ukraine because they yeah. clearly understand the concept of self-defense better. Yeah, why don't you wrap, you know what you should do? Take their boomsticks and then wrap it up in like another billion dollars and send it to them. That's like their Christmas gift. So it's like they tear the wrapping paper, which is like a billion more dollars. And then underneath that, they get like your little 22. Than our own people. This isn't just a slap in the face. It's a full on knockout punch to Canadian gun owners. And don't sit there thinking, oh, this could never happen here in the US. It starts just like this. 1,500 guns banned in 2020. Now it's another 324. They've even banned handguns. And don't give me that tired weapons of war justification. You banned a bunch of 22 rifles. Freaking 22s. What is Ukraine supposed to do with those? Hunt squirrels? You're um, die to drone, drone strikes. That's what they'll do regardless of what they've got. Um, now... I wouldn't underestimate 22 as well. The Eskimos did okay over there in uh, Alaska against Japan. <laughs> uh, maybe the weather helped a little bit, but you know. Sending a hodgepodge of jelly bean guns in random calibers with different setups to a war zone. The military standardizes for a reason. Shotguns are good against drones? Dude, we're talking, we're talking like military drones. You won't even see them. Them bad boys will be like a mile in the damn air. All you're going to hear is... And then, like your like your vision will just be black, and it's game over. You're not gonna be out there with like a twelve gauge. You remember? Um, it was the T eight hundred in Terminator two when they were in the elevator scene, and the T one thousand dropped down on top of the elevator, and he's like stabbing through. Those would be like the jo the drone strikes, and like you got the T eight hundred like firing back up into it. It didn't do nothing, dude. But hey. Let's complicate the situation more. Bravo, Canada. This is nothing but virtue signaling at its absolute worst. And what's worse? It's dangerous. Not for Ukraine, but for your own people. You understand the value of self-defense for a country at war, but you refuse to acknowledge the same for your citizens at home. That's not just hypocrisy. No, it's because the government is at war with the people. So, of course, they would disarm the people that they are against. Dude, they're stuffing them in pods and ending them instead of giving them health care. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Critical. It's terrifying. Mass shootings in Canada are so rare that they have to keep dragging up the same event from 35 years ago. You're legislating out of fear, not logic. And guess what? The gun used in the Nova Scotia shooting... It was already illegal. People knew about the guns Gabriel Wartman owned, all of them illegal. Documents made public by the mass shooting inquiry show few reported them. So what's... Yeah, but isn't uh, pew-pewing innocent people already illegal? I mean, they should have just put up like a sign that said like, no murder allowed here. And the guy would be like, oh shit, I guess I gotta go back home. What's the solution? Ban more guns? Because clearly yeah. that worked so well the first time. This isn't policy, it's madness. Chat, uh, you got to remind me, who was it that said never let a uh, tragedy go to waste? I forgot who it was. He was like caught on like on the mic or whatever saying that basically. But he was, I'm not, I don't remember if he was caught on it or if he just blatantly said it. But essentially he was saying like never let a good tragedy go, go to waste. That's, that's the way that they see these things. Remember I told you that it's all about min-maxing. If it can be abused, it will be abused. Klaus, Hillary Clinton, yeah, probably it was all of them. 
And let's not forget the absurdity of sending civilian guns, semi-automatic guns, to a war zone. These aren't weapons of war. They're literally the opposite. What exactly are the people of Ukraine gonna do with these? Hand them out as war trophies? It's asinine on every level. And don't think this is just about Canada. This is a warning for us here in the United States. It's the canary in the coal mine. Don't get comfortable just because we have a pro-gun Congress or Rahm a pro-gun president. All it takes is one tragic event, and we'll be right back to square one. Trust me, there are plenty of politicians, Republican and Democrat alike, who don't give a shit about the Second Amendment. This is why we can't let up. Canada is proof that gun control isn't about safety, it's about control. The banning guns that have been in civilian hands for decades, that are rarely, if ever, used in crimes. They're not tar- It wouldn't even matter. It wouldn't even matter if they were used in every crime. All, all it, like, even if they were used in every single crime, all that would do is confirm that you need one now more than ever. <laughs> so the the fact that they always try to use like, oh, but they, you know, they were used in crimes and all this other stuff. It's like, yeah, all the more reason that uh, <laughs> a law abiding CT sans would actually need one. Whenever I hear the term like law abiding citizen, I'm not gonna lie. I just think of like some sheep being led to the slaughterhouse. I abide by the law. I bet you do, bitch. I bet you do. Lick the boot, bitch. Get on the ground right now. Lick it. Targeting criminals. They're targeting law-abiding citizens. And now- I love George Washington. He was not a law-abiding citizen, but I am. Yeah, freedom. Now they want to ship those guns off to a war zone under the guise of helping. It's insanity. Never forget, the Second Amendment isn't just about hunting or sports shooting. It is about freedom. And Canada is showing us exactly what happens when that freedom is stripped away. Don't let it happen here. And also, do not let yourself miss out on the sale that's going on at shop.mrcoleonnoir.com. Oh, right shit! Now. Our holiday Christmas sale, where everything on the store pretty much is 15% off when you use the code Defend America. Defend we have America. All of our shirts, <laughs> our hats, even our premium embroidered hoodie. This one has the Keep America tactical design on it, as you can see with Texas, but you can get it in any state you want. And all of our other designs are. You know what would have been cool is if they had one like this, but it had like little Christmas LEDs built into it, or maybe it would like surround Texas. Oh, no, 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 dude. You know, be cool. Like, okay, I'll cre- I just create, I, I just create a, a better design. Look at, okay. Uh, these, these hoodies would be like $10,000. It'd be super expensive, but it'd be worth it. So I would have it where the LEDs, it would be like Christmas lights, like uh, green, red, yellow, whatever you want. Uh, it would, it would surround Texas, right? And then right here in the front, it would be a red LED that's flashing like it's going off. Dude, no, come on, that would be a good that that would be a good hoodie. I'd wear I'd go to California and wear that shit. All right, that was actually a pretty decent uh, video and from uh, Colin Colin Nor. But I gotta say, dude, I feel bad for the Canadians, man. I know I get I I understand that it's the idea of like you kind of get what you vote for, so to speak. But is it really? Especially when every politician is lying to your ass. <laughs> and you got like cities full of millions of people that are just obliterating the people that are like in rural, more wild areas. You're just trying to survive out there against like the angry, horny moose that'll trample your ass. And you got like some blue haired feminist that spawn camps her own fetus, lecturing your ass about how, how it's wrong to take a life. Go the Reaper five bucks. Think of my good man. When I think of law-abiding citizen, I think of Jamie Foxx movie starring the guy who played. Oh yeah, that was the guy that uh, he was like the justice system is broke, and then he starts like from prison. He starts like manipulating things and getting people killed and shit like that. I remember that. I, that was a law. That was a while ago. I remember that. This is law-abiding citizen. <laughs> 